Nerd Dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 46 in our series, NerdDice.com, where we build a tabletop role-playing management application using Ruby on Rails. And in this video, we're going to address some um, security alerts to Pendabot uh, in our application. Uh, so if we go over here and take a look at security, go to our Dependabot alerts. We can see that there are four of them. Um, when we did this, it was just Action Pack and Noko Giri. Uh, there are a couple new ones with, with um, related to Puma and Active Support. So uh, we'll uh, try to take this, take care of this. Hopefully, the uh, the updates we make won't um, break anything, and we'll be able to just do a bundle update and uh, make sure that we. Um, that our test pass and our build succeeds and all that. Um, the let's take a look at this. We're going to convert it into an issue here. So I'm going to um, edit the title here. Um, you can see here, uh, convert to issue is an option. Um, and it will let you do that. But um, before we do that, I'm going to pause and write some uh, description here, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I've got my description and uh, title updated a bit. Uh, we'll go now and hit convert to issue on nerddice.com. We will open that in a new tab. We will sign myself, add the technical excellence label, and this will add it to the initial release milestone. And I think that gives us what we need. Uh, let's take a look at what we're running now and what we'll be upgrading to here. So if we go um, in the directory here. We run that, we can see we're running currently 7.0.4.3. We take a look, the latest Rails release is 7.0.7.2. Um, if we go and take a look at Rails Rails here, we can see uh, the different releases that have occurred since um, we updated. So um, I, I've already taken a look at the, the change log. I don't anticipate anything will um, break, at least as it relates to Rails. I also want to check Ruby. Make sure that the version of Ruby I'm running is the latest version. Because if a patch version of Ruby has been released um, and I don't upgrade to it, my build will fail because it'll take a different, it'll try to install a different version of Ruby than is um, mentioned in my Ruby version file in the repository. So we look like we're good to go there. I will check out a branch. Actually, I'll use git switch here. C, we'll call it I've got a new branch here. Make sure my existing suite hasn't magically broken in the intervening time since the last time I ran it. Oh, and it has. Chrome driver. All right, let me 
take a look at this. Unable to find latest point release version. just run some updates here to see if that solves the issue. Pause for a moment. Back here. like it would affect it, but we'll do our upgrade. and let this finish. All right, my update is done and it, it contained a uh, Linux kernel update, so I just rebooted my whole machine. Uh, I'm gonna attempt this again. updating my JSON, which I don't have. A node runtime here. I wonder if I need to update my import maps. package.json for this project. be solved by running the, the bundle update there. So I think I've got a, a browser that's later than what net HTTP allows for this. So um, I'm gonna, on the, the branch here anyway, so we will attempt the bundle update.
Selenium itself now manages drivers by default. You're using We made it to running. I think that was the issue is that I had ups, up installed a newer version of Chrome than was supported by my bundle. And that's why everything was failing to even start running the tests. The other thing we're going to do after running this, uh, I need to see whether RuboCop got updated and any new cops are failing or anything like that. All right, so everything passed, which is good. Now, let's see if we have any new violations. Rubocop Copybara. I, I did take a look at Rubocop Copybara offline and it seems to only be like R spec or mini test spec. I, I tried playing around with it and it didn't seem to um, benefit the situation. I could like I was trying to like intentionally create a violation and it wouldn't do it. So um, we'll just ignore that for now. And I think gives me everything I need. Hopefully, if you remember previous situations, um, that debug gem was being really weird in terms of updates. It looks like it, it maintained the dependencies there. And then looks like we're good to go. Sign it, I'll pause and write my message. All right, I've got my commit message here. Save it, close the editor. Push to my remote. Pull request. And we're going into main. I should make sure Puma actually got updated here. Geary got updated. Puma got updated. I think we're good. So we'll create that pull request.
pause and allow the build to complete. All right, the build is green. That's what we like to see. I will now switch back to main. Merge. Push should merge the pull request from the command line. Delete the local branch, delete the remote branch. Our pull request has been closed. And then our issue will close. Issue is closed. That should update our issue to done. In theory. Refresh my project here. Well, I'll just assume that it was completed. But you never know what you're going to encounter doing a um, a dependency upgrade. So that's the first time I had ever encountered that uh, Chrome uh, driver error. Um, the update to the system was probably unnecessary. It was the bundle that was causing uh, the issue there. And um, otherwise, uh, make sure our, I guess, I'll assume that the actual pass running the same code on a different branch. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, I'll come back and we'll talk again, but otherwise we'll see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem, but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelistcode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. There had been a couple of these that have been... This is really laggy. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.